is what really makes a good jerk chicken a good jerk chicken. Guys, welcome back to Stuck on the Island. I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. Yes, we are in the pandemic era and we have so many superhero chefs right now. Everybody is at home just cooking up a storm, exploring this this new talent or this new hobby. Now, I've definitely seen this dish that I've always, well, matter of fact, I, let me not say I've always wanted to try it because oven jerk chicken, I can always tell you from the start, is never gonna be the exact same thing as getting it off of a grill. Reason being, one of the main ingredients is missing, which is smoke. Yeah, you know Jamaicans always say that we love to smoke, but for this particular dish, smoking is super, super important. You're gonna get all that pimento wood flavor, or just the flavor from the charcoal. That's what makes a dish one of the best dishes that we actually have here in Jamaica. Now, if you don't know, jerk chicken is a Jamaican thing. Originally in Jamaica, persons will tell you that the Tainos that were here first, they were the ones that actually started this open fire cooking process and then the information got passed down to the Africans that came after. And let me tell you, I'm almost certain that my ancestors took this whole dish to a completely different level. If you check in the description box, you see all the ingredients and let me tell you, it seems as if they took every single spice or season that you can think about and just threw it into this dish and that's what makes this dish so, so, so flavorful. Now one of the key things that we're going to be doing right Right now which is on a Saturday tomorrow's when I'm gonna to actually be cooking up the dish is to season and let marinate any of the good pan chicken man or jerk chicken man will tell you make sure that you marinate overnight at least overnight one night two nights to get supreme flavor anyway let's get into that process see I definitely wasn't playing when I told you that our ancestors basically threw everything into this dish look at all the seasoning that we're gonna be using today that's basically everything that we're going to be using. I'll walk you through it as we go along. But of course, you have some wet jerk seasoning. You can use almost any one, but I prefer using Walker's wood. And of course, you have the dry jerk seasoning. Two of them in a combo is going to make it really good. All right, so let's prepare the bird. Now, this is one of the most important parts because the way how you put the chicken inside the oven is important. If you look at every single jerk chicken man, you realize that they do the chicken in quarters. So leg and thigh together, breast and wing together. I would believe the reason they're doing that is because they want to make sure that the chicken has as much moisture as possible. So I'm not going to change that with this chicken, all right? So, one cut down the middle, flip her on her back. And then I'm gonna section it into quarters. Me personally, my favorite part is the leg and thigh. Drop in the comments which part you like. Um, so you can actually see where to cut the chicken. There's some part here is like the fat line, I believe. Find that fat line. It's gonna cut through really easy. And then the same thing over here. Uh, looks like the fat line. Now, of course, like every typical Caribbean person, I am going to make sure that I throw some vinegar into some water because I need to wash my chicken. So, some chicken. All right, so here's the part that I like. We're going to be doing up um, the dry seasoning. So everything that's dry, we're going to put on the top. So first thing is the jerk seasoning, of course. And don't be shy with the seasoning, come on. Do not be shy with the seasoning. And uh, I'm gonna use the pinch of cinnamon. Just a bit of this salt, I'm gonna use all of it. Because the jerk seasoning already has some saltiness to it. And just a little bit more just to be safe. All right, and, well this one isn't dry, but I'm gonna add this as well. And then we're gonna add two, two nice spoonfuls. Oh no, I'm gonna make it three. Spoonfuls of that. You might know Jamaicans, we don't really like using recipes a lot. Well, me, definitely don't like doing that. And I'm just gonna mix this all in. It would be best if you have like a glove because if you have any form of, you know, bruise or whatever on the hand, then man, the pepper will burn you or if you touch your, your eyes after this with your fingers, it can burn you, so just be careful with that. And 
gonna rub this all in. Get it everywhere as much as you can. And then I often used to see my mom when she used to make any chicken at all, she would just poke little holes into the chicken so that the seasoning can just go all around. And that way it's gonna make steam go through the chicken even more evenly as well, so no big deal. And then just keep turning. Oh guys, I wish you guys could smell that. Oh my gosh. You can smell that jerk chicken really well seasoned up. And it's not even done as yet. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. We're gonna make our own little fresh seasoning sauce. All right. All right, so this is the part where I think they call it jerk chicken because there's nothing nice about this chicken when it comes down to the heat. Jerk chicken is very, very spicy if you like spicy stuff. Some persons do it very mild, so it depends on you. If you don't want it spicy, then just remove a couple of these. Um, these peppers, I got these on the country recently. Um, I think they call them country peppers, so I'm gonna remove the seeds out of these because I want to grow these myself. I like this pepper, so I'm gonna keep some of the seeds. But for the rest of them, I'm just gonna toss all of this in everything even the seed as well it don't matter to me i need it to be spicy so throwing all of that in and of course we have the garlic and the pimento berries in the usc you guys call it all spice and then there's some thyme i'm gonna throw everything with the thyme even the the sticky parts it don't matter to me i want it to be as rustic as i can you know we don't we're missing the smoky flavor so let's try our best with that and then last but not least, a little bit of nutmeg. I'm not gonna use a lot of this, just a, a few grates. I'm gonna grate a bit of this in there. You're not trying to get a very nutmeggy flavor. So just about that, I took off of it. So that should be fine. And am I missing anything? Oh yes, we have some escalin that we already washed. Just gonna break these, pop them down into there. And of course, my onions and some water not too much just enough to get it to blend and so i'm just gonna add a little bit of coconut oil and then we can blend <laughs> wow if you guys could smell that yo you guys might be wondering what's the browning for. Because this is very green, once you put it on the chicken, it's gonna change the whole color. So the browning is gonna help put it back to that more natural look, right? Oh my gosh. This place looks really good. Now the reason why I like using the fresh one, I, I, I just wanna know exactly what's in it. I don't care what's on the ingredients or the other bottles or whatever. I wanna make sure that I have a nice fresh, fresh taste to my jerk chicken. I'm gonna pour all of this on there and then just mix everything up. All right, so I'm just gonna turn all of this in really quick. Oh, this chicken is gonna be so well seasoned, it's ridiculous, man. So as you see, it has a really strange looking color. So here is where the browning is gonna come in and give us some normalcy. Wow, you guys can smell this, it smells so good. Chicken up. And then pop her right into the fridge. We're not wasting any of this marinade here. So now we have her in the marinade. Let's pop her into the fridge. And I'll be picking you up tomorrow at three. Oh, 
I know I'm late and it's like 3 o'clock, but it's super. Come on, I, it's, it's just 8 o'clock now, but it means you got a lot of marination. Oh, come on, baby, I'm gonna do it right now. So, there we have it. We have this seasoning over 24 hours now, it's really nice and done. So, what I'm gonna do is just to drop it in the pan really nicely and then drop it in the oven. The oven is on now for about 350 degrees Celsius. If you're like me, you don't like cleaning the pan afterwards, you definitely just line it with some foil paper. And that's gonna make your cleanup job a lot easier. So. Oh my gosh, this is so well seasoned. Take these out. And if you're a person that you only like the leg quarters, then all you have to do is just buy the leg quarters. Because we did a whole chicken, so we have these pieces here. We'll put them down like that. All right, in the pan. All right. I'm gonna add a little butter so that it doesn't stick as much. Pop it into the oven. It's a convection oven, so I do have the fan on, so I can get a nice even heat on it. And let's see how this baby turns out. So there's one thing I think always makes jerk chicken really good, is when you learn how to hydrate it the right way. So this red stripe, I'm going to definitely be using this for my hydration. Pop the top. What's going to help this to work out really well. If you're in Jamaica and you see the pan chicken man doing the thing, they always have like a bottle that they use and you know, throw it on top or the meat just to keep it nice and hydrated but I'm going to put it in a spray bottle to give me a nice and more even coating as you know red stripe is definitely a Jamaican beer yeah one for the road alright so spray some of that beer on it that's not so bad. Just like the jerk on them, they are rude. You normally wet it up. It's the same thing like a kind of do. But this works out a lot better than water to be quite honest. Nice little play boy, no? Alright, so just in here guys, I have some really nice jerk seasoning going on. So the same thing I use to marinate it in. I just threw some beer into it, adding some heat, and cook it down a little bit. And you're gonna have a jerk season topping for those who like extra spice. If you don't, don't add it. Alright, so you guys can see these look really beautiful. To me, to be quite honest, what makes a jerk chicken a complete jerk chicken is when you have the chopping man. Like Pan chicken man, I chop it up, but I don't want to mess up my kitchen, so... Nah. Generally in Jamaica, the chicken is done, pan chicken man. Give it a couple chops. We don't eat our jerk chicken normally, no hole or whatever, now I'm gonna chop up. Alright, let me try a piece of this. Oh, it looks so soft and nice. Mm -mm. Ooh. Mm -mm. Oh, this look a lot more like jerk chicken. Mm hmm. Wow, it's got some nice heat to it, man. Look at that. Especially the chicken breast. I'm surprised. Well, I'm not even surprised. All right, I'm gonna serve this up. Right, my cousin's gonna tell you what it tastes. What it tastes like? Pretty good. All right. So this is my oven jerk chicken. Trust me, I tasted it just now, and it tastes really good. It's very tender, and I have some um. You call this again some corn 
at some festivals over here. So I'm gonna dig into it completely and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about it. All right, so the first thing I can tell you, you know when a jerk chicken is done properly or any chicken is done properly when you don't see like, you know, no blood in the meat or anything like that. So this went through thorough and it's so good. Mm -hmm. Nice amount of spice too, but as I said in the beginning of the video, this would never taste like original jerk because there's no there's no charcoal. You're not tasting the smokiness, which is what really makes a good jerk chicken a good jerk chicken. But could this pass as a good substitute? <laughs> Hell yes. And we all know jerk chicken goes really well with festival. Nice, soft, and bready. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yo. I didn't add any of the pepper sauce onto the first. That would be much too. Oh, cause you almost forget. Planting. Mm -mm. No way. No, dish is complete without planting. Like here, nobody wants it. Hey, Mr. Love Island Green Numbers. So this bad? It's bad, not Island Green. <laughs> I guess so. It's Island Green. Mm -hmm. So then, even though it's a traditional way of, you know, yeah. whatever they look, mm -hmm. where is this? The meat is tender. Tender, don't? Tender, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let me tell you, something about planting just brings off any dish. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wow. Perfection, man. Mm. Can't open a restaurant for you, man. Nah, joke. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if this did have the smoky feel, be like, oh, you don't know, I'm gonna get it in at the um, the jerk pan. But this, Ooh. yep. Mm -hmm. Once you have the smoky flavor, that'll be game over. All right, guys. So that was a perfectly good meal. But like I said in the beginning of the video, if it doesn't have that smoky flavor, nah, it's it's a good meal, but it doesn't taste like jerk jerk chicken. So if you don't have a um, a grill that you can grill it on. Maybe what you could do is try using liquid smoke. One of my friends did say try, you know, you could use liquid smoke and it will give that little that little flavor, but still I still believe like you know the natural thing, it doesn't beat that. Um if you haven't subscribed to my next channel, it's called Soy. I'm gonna put it up there so you guys can check it out. Jump into the channel section, you'll find soy there. You will see other videos that I have posted or check out Soy Eats as well. But anyway, guys, remember three things: love, nature, adaptation, and always remember, keep the link.